Heavyweight contender Kubrat Pulev has announced today that his team has been negotiating with David Hayes' team for a possible clash on June 29th. This is surprising. If this fight does take place, it's surprising because based on his previous form, David Hay has never taken on any contenders as dangerous as Kubrat Pulev at heavyweight before. Right? He's, he's pretty much talked his way into a title shot previously against Nikolai Valoev and then against Vladimir Klitschko. Right? So he talked himself, he talked his way into two separate title shots without ever taking on any of the most dangerous contenders. So if he does go ahead and fight Kubrat Pulev, it's surprising. Now that's not to say that David Hay can't beat Kubrat Pulev, even though he's avoided taking on guys as dangerous as Pulev before. Uh, that's not to say you can't beat him, right? Uh, David Hay's a businessman. He's a risk-reward type of guy. Uh, but if he does take on Pulev, he's doing what he should be doing. Right, he's, he's, he's kind of shortchanged the public previously at heavyweight anyway. He was a fantastic cruiserweight, but at heavyweight, he kind of shortchanged the public a bit. And, um, you know, he's doing what he should be doing, doing it the old-fashioned way and take, taking on a dangerous, unbeaten contender in Kubrat Pulev. Uh, so, yeah, hats off to Hay if he does take this fight, if he actually does go ahead. And as far as Kubrat Pulev, it's also surprising that Pulev is in negotiation for this fight or that he might want to take the fight because he's on the brink of a world title shot anyway. He's already like number two or number one, number two contender in at least one or two of the governing uh, bodies. So he's already overdue a title shot anyway. So it's surprising that he's, you know, if he does take on David Hay, it's pretty surprising he's willing to take that kind of risk. David Hay can punch. He's fast. Uh, Hay will definitely be the best opponent that Kubrat Pulev has ever faced as a professional. And... Pulev will be the best opponent that David Hay has faced at heavyweight other than Vladimir Klitschko. Right? So I understand the kind of risk both guys are taking if they decide to go ahead with this fight. We all know how David Hay fights. He's fast, explosive. Um, he's pretty much a pot shotter from the outside, a pot shotter and a counter puncher from the outside at heavyweight anyway. Um, that's how he tends to fight. In the Chisora fight, he did use his jab more, but he had to because he had to keep Chisora off. But we all know how David Hay fights. We all know the deal. He's, he's, uh, although he knocked out Derek Chisora with a left hook, his primary weapon is his right hand. Uh, Kubrat Pulev, for those of you who don't know him, he's a big star in his native country, Bulgaria. He's around 6'4", 6'5", so he's a big guy, natural heavyweight. He's got a tremendous jab. He's got the best jab in the heavyweight division alongside Vladimir Klitschko. He's got a terrific jab. He's athletic. He's pretty fast. He's not really a massive puncher, but he's got definitely got respectable power. He's been stopping guys. You know, he stopped Ustinov. He was unbeaten. Big guy. He stopped um, Dimitrenko. Right? He's been stopping guys. I mean, he fought Matt Skelton in his fifth fight, I believe, quite a long time ago, a few years ago, and stopped him, I think, in four rounds. And obviously, we know that David Price only just fought Matt Skelton last year or early this year, whenever it was. So, you know, Pulev has been moved along pretty quickly in his career because he's mentally and emotionally mature enough to be moved along quickly. Right? The guy is about 31 or 32, I believe, years old. So he's around the same age as Hay. Uh, he's mentally, physically mature. He apparently used to beat up David Price in sparring <laughs> for years and years. Um, so, you know, Pulev is not the complete package as a fighter, right? I've never seen him fight inside or anything like that um he's maybe slightly one-dimensional in his approach he's quite athletic he moves around and uses his jab to very good effect uh he's smart uh he jabs to the body jabs to the head and his right hand is, is a decent shot it is a decent shot he's not a one punch ko power but it's a decent shot you know what i'm saying the only problem with his right hand is he tends to telegraph it a little bit Right? He does telegraph his right hand a little bit and loops it rather than throwing it straight like a Vladimir Klitschko would throw it or a David Hay would throw it um, sometimes anyway. So, uh, you know, I think this is a, a very exciting matchup if it does actually take place. I hope it takes place. Uh, both uh, Pulev and Hay, I think, are fairly evenly matched, to be honest with you. Uh, I rate both of them on the same type of level. Although we've seen more of Hay than we've seen of Pulev, but... Hey, Pulev brings some pretty good things to the table. Trust me, for those of you who ain't seen him, he's pretty impressive. He has a lot of confidence 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'll be excited if this fight does take place because it's, it's a good heavyweight matchup. So let me know what you think about this fight in the comment section below. Who do you think would win? Uh, do you think this fight is going to go ahead? Are you surprised that Pulev or Hay are willing to take this kind of risk when there's obviously easier ways to a heavyweight title shot? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Hatman. I'm out.